Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and uh, firstly I'm, I'm so sorry my uploads are all over the place at the moment. It's, uh, it's been a really tough week. Um, I've been in and out of hospital. They initially thought it was a heart attack, ruled that out with tests then thought it was a pulmonary embolism, ruled that out with tests. So it turns out I have costochondritis, which I'd never heard of before. Basically it's an inflammation of the cartilage um, between the ribs and sternum or something. Anyway, it just means I'm in a lot of pain. Um, so I, I apologize if I'm not quite as uh, bubbly or um, energetic as usual but I'm in a lot of pain <laughs> so um, apologies here in advance <laughs> um, but I was desperate to film something and I promised the beautiful Dee Dee that I would do a palette bingo with the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette um, I did do I picked the numbers out with a random number generator, but I film with my phone, so you're just gonna have to trust me. Um, the Please excuse this, um, my hands kind of fine, I'm needle phobic, and my hands a bit of a, a bruised and lumpy mess, um, so it's covered just so that I don't freak out. <laughs> um, so the, colours um, that were picked were first Zobo which is this matte kind of purple I have first uh, swatched them out on my hand um, so there's this matte purple and then Marley which is this shimmer green and then Daya which is this kind of shimmer creamy brown taupey colour. <laughs> um, Zulu which is this matte brown and then Dahlia which is this uh, shimmer blue. So I'm not going to keep holding it up just because uh, it hurts. <laughs> um, but basically these are what the colours look like. This is the, the colour story that we're working with today. Um, I did pick up um, these brushes all Jessup, so I've got some uh, new brushes to try. So let's get on into this. I'm just firstly going to take the Lux Soft Crease um, 221. Uh, they're all Jessup, so I won't keep saying that. And I'm going to go in with the brown Zulu. And let's uh, get the hair out of the way a bit. Yeah. And this one I'm just going to place completely in the crease as my kind of transition blending out shade. Um, I had a little think about what to do um, but this is me it might change um, so we shall see <laughs> but I do love the Juvia's Place formula it's uh, definitely one of my absolute favorites um, really kind of soft pigmented easy to blend when i say soft i mean like the the formula is soft the colors are really really pigmented i hope you can see what i'm doing i can't <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm a bit of a mess at the moment so i apologize but it is what it is and i really wanted to do something to cheer me up, dog hair. Okay, it's going. There we go. 
Um, I just, I wanted to do something to cheer me up. And, uh, and colourful makeup is definitely my, uh, my pick me up along with video chatting with my beautiful niece Ella she is definitely a great pick me up she is a four year old with a mountain of energy that I wish I had and the best imagination ever so and she's always excited to speak to me, which is a plus. <laughs> All right. Do they match? Does it really matter? Whatever. Um, so, what brush set? What's this one? Lux Crease. We... No, that's a little bit on the, the bigger side for what I want. How about this? Lux Petite Crease. So I'm going in with the Lux Petite Crease 231 and <clears throat> sorry and I'm going into the only other matte that we have which is Zobo and the matte purple and this one I am packing in packing in packing on first um into the crease and on the outer corner and I do want to kind of wing it out a bit so we are doing that I know it's kind of cheating covering the brown a bit but I promise I'll, I'll try and use it somewhere else I'm not brown lover to be fair and we have such amazing colors to use here bright colors i think i kind of struck lucky apart from the browns but then the palette is half neutral so i was extremely lucky not to just get a completely neutral color story Right, so let's just pack this in here. I will use another brush for for the blending out. I just want this colour to really shine because it is stunning. wow look at the pigment in that how can you not love in dubious place shadows i think this brush has got a like loose hair no it's a dog hair of course it is <laughs> of course it's a dog hair why wouldn't it be we always have the dog hairs yeah so i should probably uh move you away while I do the other eye so as not to to bore you with the same stuff over and over Okay, so I blew it out a little bit. I'm just going to take the brush with the brown on just to uh, buff the edges a little bit more. And that will do for now. Uh, right. Okay, bring that on to the lower lash line first. Blow that one out quite 
much there, did I? Oh well. We can fix that. Just plonk a little bit more there then. Good thing with eyeshadow, it can always be fixed. And if it can't, it can be washed off. <laughs> so there is that. Right. I might just use the same brush to bring that under a little bit. I haven't put any extra product on because this is such a pigmented shadow. I don't think, I don't think I need it. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. And then maybe a very tiny touch of that brown just to blend the edges a few dog hairs all good and that will do for now so let's find a brush to just stick on some glitter glue Let's find a, a better one than that. <laughs> no. No, I think we're a little bit limited today. I haven't washed my brushes. So, oops. Um, I'm just going to pop. It's just the e.l.f. glitter glue. Just going to pop a bit of that on my hand. And just kind of carve out where I want these shimmers to go. I'm going to look down because I do want them to show above the crease with my gorgeously hooded eyes, which I'm so grateful for. Excuse the sarcasm. <laughs> but we get what we're given and do it that. <laughs> I think that's about as good as that's going to get. So, let's have a look. Let's try. I've got a Luxe Smoky Shader. See, I prefer these for putting on uh, shimmers. So, I have three shimmers to use. Alright, I'm going to start with Dahlia, the blue shimmer, on the outer part here Ooh, that is such a beautiful color that is so pretty look at that look at that reflection of that oh so beautiful I'm leaving room for, I think we can guess which one. No. I'm so, so happy I got blue and green with this. Because uh, this could have been a very, very boring brown look. Which, if, uh, if you like brown looks, sorry for calling it boring. Um but it's not my bag really <laughs> so Dee Dee I hope you're liking this I am so sorry it's taken me so long to get around to with all the oh there's fallout here with all the uh, new things to try I kind of got a bit swamped 
but I'm a here now girl and I'm just gonna see if we can whisk away no we might have to clean up with a bit of concealer there never mind whatever it is what it is right let's color switch this brush because there's only one of these and i want to use it for the green huh? all right so with the same brush i'm going into marley giving it a good top off and i am placing this one where the blue is not and rub these off I'm just going to try and mesh these together a bit which shouldn't be too difficult I definitely should have done my eyes first but it is what it is well that is definitely a color combination i am loving i'm just going to go in with a bit more of that zoba just to try and deepen this edge i could have really done with um well, there's not really a black in there, so, oh well, maybe not, maybe I'll try using a bit of the brown with the purple to deepen it, see if that helps. Does that help? A little bit, a little bit, there we go, I use the brown a bit more. I'm loving these brushes so far. <laughs> really, really loving the brushes. Let's try using this one. I don't know. I'm definitely going to need to be fixed with concealer. Right. Hair. Uh, okay, so the only color that I have not used I think I'm going to go in with what am I going to go in with oh I've got a little smoky shader brush and I'm going to go into that last shimmer that um, Dahlia the uh, light brown one And just use that to just add a little bit of something there. Yeah. And that will do. So this is the eye look. I'm just going to nip off camera, finish my face, and then I will be back to show you the final look. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so I'm back with the finished look. What do you think? I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I've not put any uh, false lashes on today, it just... Uh, Honestly, I, I don't have much energy and in too much pain. I couldn't be bothered. Um, so, sorry. Um, I did, however, pop on. I picked up this uh, Lime Crime Velveteens. Um, it's a liquid matte lipstick and it's in the shade Vibe. I found it in TK Maxx and uh, I was over the moon because I have been desperate to try something from Lime Crime for the longest time and a friend of mine Mia has uh, told me how great they are so I was so excited to try them and uh, I really 
really love this colour and I think it goes really well with the eye look. I don't know, let me let me know what you think in uh, the comments below and uh, this is actually the first time I've played with this palette. Not my first time with Juvia's Place Shadows, uh, which I know I love and uh, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to dipping into some more of uh, these shades um, so at some point hopefully I'll get the chance to do that but there's uh, I've got so many new things that I need to try out um, again sorry for the irregular uploads I I will upload as much as I can um, but it hurts to sit in this position for too long so uh, I just feel like I'm saying sorry a lot <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining me today um, and Dee Dee sorry it's taken so long but I hope you are happy with the final look and the video in itself so yeah that is it from me today I uh, I hope you've enjoyed this if you have please give it a like hit the hit the like button it really really helps me out if you are not subscribed already then I hope you'll consider sticking around I am usually more upbeat and uh, energetic <laughs> kind of more enthusiastic um, but yeah, I hope I hope you'll uh, consider sticking around if you are new, and don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So for me today, look after yourselves. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again very very soon. Goodbye.